relax, alright? I relax, alright? Hello everybody, welcome back to um, Move News by McDonald. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. So, um, I haven't gotten any new, no, new thing to actually do editing software. But I am doing things on my phone right now, so that's great. Um, anyways, as you can tell from this video, that... This is stuff for, you need to see before you see Spider-Man Far From Home. So, watch. There will be spoilers ahead for Endgame. So, if you haven't seen Endgame yet, watch the movie. And then if you don't want to be spoiled about this movie a little bit, then don't watch this. Just exit out until you've seen everything. All right. Let's move on. So, there's supposed to be, if you look at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming, you see the setup of the Sister Six, which a lot of people think that Stark Tower was bought by Norman Osborn, mainly because if you know, if you watch Spider-Man Homecoming, um, Happy says that Stark Tower got, got sold, Tony stole, sold Stark Tower, so this could be Norman Osborn and set up for the MCU, and a lot of people are pointing towards this, if this is true, it could be a Dark Avengers movie eventually, so when it phased me, it wouldn't surprise me if that happens. Marvel's had a whole bunch of stuff, weird stuff happen. And you never know what they could be doing because they have a lot of characters they put in that you've never even heard of or they don't normally do in movies. So this is kind of cool. But some people don't think so because supposedly post credit scene doesn't have anything. I don't know whether to believe the post credit scene stuff at all. I guess we'll have to see. Um, anyways, so. Moving on. Um, every, so. Here we go. Um, next part. Um, one sec. So, anyways, Tony Stark died at the end of the events of Endgame, as you saw back there. And he basically died to uh, to protect the entire world when he snapped the... Um, if it, um, Stark made Infinity Gauntlet after stealing it, it from Thanos with a clever plan. Um, he died. Yeah. Um, anyways, so let's move on to Mysterio. They've been setting up in all the trailers now that, they, that, um, that Mysterio's the good guy, when in the comics we all know he's a trickster. He's like, the human version of Loki. Like, literally. He is a trickster. And, you know, automatically, it's gonna, he's gonna turn on Spider-Man, no matter what. No matter what said, he's gonna turn on him in some way. I've heard, there's been rumors that he kidnaps Aunt May wants to get back to New York, all this other stuff. But when the time comes, we'll have to see. Um, it would be cool, like I said, them setting up Norman Osborn. That's what they need. MJ finding out that Sp Spider-Man's, that Peter Parker's Spider-Man 
mainly because he is um in places that Spider-Man is usually. So it's kind of cool. He creates his own suit new, which is kind of cool. Him creating his own suit now, and Nick Fury gave him the stealth suit. Um, so that was kind of cool. Well, um, that wraps it for this video. Um, please like, subscribe, share. Um, leave a comment on any movie reviews, because this week I'll be doing movie reviews for Annabelle Comes Home and Spider-Man Far From Home. Thank you. Bye.